In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a triangle mesh in order to export out for either use within another software program or for a laser or for 3D printing. So if I rotate this around, you can see I've got this Pegasus. And in order to triangulate this, what we need to do is go to the relief drop down and create a triangle mesh. So if I select that, and under the options, you have a tolerance setting. You can also choose an open mesh or close with a flat plane. So what I'm going to do is do this, let's say 0.1 inch at the moment, and then create. So it's a little bit faster to generate. Now this does take a little while to generate, I'm just going to speed it up for the purpose of this video. So there you can see it's triangulated it. Now don't worry about all of these triangles, that's because the tolerance is quite high. So if I zoom in and rotate around, what I want to show you is the bottom of it is flat. Now the reason being is because I've put close with a flat plane. If I selected open mesh, then what I would get would be if I close this and turn off the zero plane, I would literally get exactly what I have there. Okay, so it doesn't have a base on the bottom of it. So if I do this again and set the tolerance to be quite low now, and I'll show you how to save it. So if I go to relief, create triangle mesh, and let's do this at let's say a fair, and I'll close with a flat plane. Now this is going to take a little while to generate, so I'll speed this up in the video. Okay, so when it's turned blue, that means that it's generated the mesh. And you can see that this is a lot better quality than what we had previously with a 0.1 tolerance. So if I rotate this around, you can see that I've got a flat on the bottom as well. So to save this, go to save. And then if I come over here, let's go to my desktop and you can select the drop down. So you can save this as an OBJ, for instance, or what most people will want to do would be to save this as an STL file. So if I were to save that there, and select save, and it will save onto my desktop. Then I can close the triangle mesh, and it will take me back to the relief. So just to see if this has worked or not, let's turn on the zero plane and I'm going to reset the relief so I haven't got anything. Now to bring in a 3D model, go to relief, import and import 3D model. And then let's go to the desktop and you can see that I've got this Pegasus. So I'll select open and it will open up this model for me. Now I'm not going to go into the details of the 3D import dialog box, I just want to literally see whether this has worked. Okay, so let's move this box out of the way and you can see it's generated that STL fine for me. So that's how you create triangle meshes within Carvco Maker. 